How you doing? Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. Oh. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about demons. No. Now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Mm. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. You seem to know everyone in the district. Detroit's my home, born and raised. Know most of the guys around here. Went to school with them. Or I busted him. Sometimes both. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> so I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but Adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. <laughs> 